opening shot to this Blooms For You video, an empty chair. Let me show you why I need it. I can try and do this without jiggling too much and without bumping my head at the top. Slowly. Hello. You see all that? If it will put, there we go. You see all those ants? That's why I need that chair. So what I'm going to do is take down my Banda Denisoniana. Let's have a closer look and I will be removing those ants. That's much better. So yes, here we are. First time bloomer for me, my Vanda Denisoniana. Here she is. Isn't she pretty, pretty, pretty? Little bit washed out, even though it is a cloudy day. But if I put my hand over and cover the light a little bit now, you can see the true colors with a more distinct white in the center as opposed to getting washed out. It gives me great pleasure to start off this Blooms For You series with my Banda Denisoniana and dedicate these gorgeous blooms to you, all my viewers. Everybody that's commented today in the past, if you see this in the future, these are for you as well. Thank you very, very much for being here. I have a few beauties out and about that are blooming, so I'm going to compile a few clips and let's go and see what else is in bloom. Lelia Sarkeana, blooming for an orchid ninja. Thank you so much, Snow Dragon Kasan, for becoming an orchid ninja, for supporting my channel for your comments, for the exchanges that we have in the comments section and in emails. Thank you so much. I so appreciate your trust in the Orchid Ninja community. And well, here's my Lelia Esalkiana in bloom for you. Beautiful first time bloomer. And what do I see through the viewfinder? An ant. This has been a bane of a problem. Every time I film an orchid, I'm like, seriously? Anywho. The reason I'm showing you this spike as opposed to this one, and uh, well, now that she's in focus, I've been trying to get these in focus for a while now, is because you can see that the sepals have blemishes on them, which I find astounding. I was hoping to dedicate two pristine, beautiful spikes with four blooms to you, Snow Dragon Kassan, but unfortunately, I hope that you're okay with semi-pristine blooms on the second spike. Very bizarre why I've got these blemishes already happening on the sepals of this one. I don't know if it's the first time blooming woes or not, but I didn't want to risk it because it is, after all, a ridiculous Lelia. And she's doing so well in the pot. So I don't understand. There's no excuse for these blemishes. A little bit disappointing, to be honest. I've gotten a bit spoiled by Rapiculus Lelia blooms lately, especially my Harper Fuller that just lasted for months and months. But I hope that you don't mind, and I hope that you can see the beauty of these blooms, regardless of some of the little imperfections, especially on this spike. Let's cut them into focus. There we go. Purdy, purdy, purdy. I love them nonetheless. And I want to say thank you very, very much, Snow Dragon Kassan, for becoming an Orchid Ninja, for your support on my channel and everything else that I listed prior. You are so appreciated. And your knowledge regarding inorganic growing media, next level. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Muchas gracias and danke schön. And asante sana, Orchid Ninja, Snow Dragon Kassan. Ta-da! Kaularthron by Cornutum from a very, very special lady in the UK during very, very special times when orchid swaps between Europe and UK were still possible. This one comes from the orchid room and I would like to dedicate these two first blooms of my Kaularthron by Cornutum to the orchid room because she gave them to me. And I want to show her that I actually managed to bloom the first orchid in that orchid swap. And here they are. Oh my goodness, they are gorgeous. 
This spike took forever, forever to develop. But here it is, por fin, two blooms. And oh my goodness, they are the cutest ever. I am in love with that shape. I'm in love with the speckles on that lip. And the way this one is looking up, it's like, hello, presenting itself so beautifully. My goodness, that pristine white. If I get in a little bit closer, maybe you can see the striations on the petals. Crisp white. What is not to love? Look at that lip. Look at that. First time for me to see this bloom, and I thought it was only the right thing to do is to give them right back to the orchid room and say, thank you so much for your orchids that you sent me and thank you so much for this one. I have a very, very light perfume, very powdery. I would like to say fresh linen, but with a hint of floral something that I can't quite determine. But yes, there is a fragrance and I had to bring her out to this side because it was too dark to film in my blooming alley and way too bright to film her in the sunshine. And I'm hoping that you can see this gorgeous little structure and how they present themselves. This one is not quite open yet, so it still has a ways to go. But I wanted to make sure that I could film this, I could dedicate them, because I have no idea how long these blooms last. I don't know if there's going to be any decline anytime soon, especially with that pristine white. And that's why the second one is not fully opened yet. Just to be on the safe side and say thank you so much to the orchid room for the orchid swap. And here is my first time blooming of my Kaularthrum baikonutum. I hope that you are doing well, sending you much love from Spain and your orchid. It's a cloudy day, it's a no wind day. And for me, that is a great day to be able to film my Dendrobium Victoria Regina blooms. There might be a little bit more color saturation in real life, but my goodness, on a day like this, this is perfect. There's a little bit more of a lavender tinge to them, but for Clarissa Gonzalez, Bisky Bisky, Lisa Dwingert, Cyril T and Tame an Orchid, I have nine Victoria Regina blooms to dedicate to you to say thank you so very much for your support on my channel. Dum Dum here went to protect, in advertised commas, the buds and wanted to make sure that the buds don't get water on them. So I took them out away from its location and watered it with a sprayer. And when I hung it back up, the whole act of trying to protect my 10 buds went downhill when I popped one off and snagged it. So nine blooms at this point in time from Dendrobium Victoria Regina to Clarissa Gonzalez, Bisky Bisky, Lisa Dwingert, Cyril T and Tame and Orchid to say thank you to you so very, very much for your support on my channel and that I really, really appreciate having you here. I haven't seen some of you for a while. I hope that you're doing really, really well in your part of the world. Spring hopefully has arrived as well if you're heading into fall. So sorry, we will be looking at you when your spring comes and here in Europe and I'm heading into fall and I'll be jelly. But until then, and for now, granted these are two Victoria Reginas on one mount, I wanted to increase my chances of success of growing them. So I took out two and put them into my cart and both of them are surviving and thriving. There is no fragrance to this orchid, unfortunately, but you know, in a way that is a blessing because the ants were trying to claim them, but I managed to keep them safe, which is a good thing. Ants can't have everything, not all of it this season. Isn't this amazing though? Of all the blooms, I think this one is really the best one. And I love the little white pointy bits at the tip here. That's ah, just so, so cool. And you can tell there is a bit of a difference with the two blooms from one plant to the other. This one is a little bit more 
flared and has a bit more of a faded look to it. And this one is a bit more saturated. If I saw them in a shop and needed to pick one or the other, I would pick this one right here. It is definitely much more saturated in color. But this orchid isn't done yet. I'm expecting another little bloom flush right up here. You can see that node is swelling as well. There will be more Victoria Regina blooms coming if I continue to keep it safe without popping any buds off. Anyway, Clarissa Gonzalez, Bisky Bisky, Lisa Duengert, Cyril T, and Tame and Orchid, my Victoria Regina blooms for you to say thank you very, very much for your support here on my channel, for watching my videos, and for subscribing. I really appreciate it. Moving on, my goodness, I'm gonna take advantage of this. This is looking awesome on my screen, and I hope that it is looking awesome on your screen as well. I was not planning on filming Blooms For You clips today, but having seen what the Victoria Regina just looked like on the screen, straight onto Sweet Memory, because I have three more blooms open very, very recently. And these are for Teresa Tomi, Lilia Moniz, and Dorote Har. Balanopsis Leodoro Sweet Memory. On a cloudy day, she doesn't have her big fragrance, but on a cloudy day, she really, really pops in her colors very true on the screen. I don't have to explain anything away. For Teresa Tomi, Lilia Moniz, Doro Tejar, these three blooms are for you. One, two, three. I've lost the first bloom on the spike down here. I still have my second bloom and the third bloom has opened. I'm expecting another one to come but I'm not going to wait because as long as they look like this on a cloudy day, my goodness, I have to get in and show you. Now, let me position the camera in such a way that it will not affect the visual. And let me turn, look at that. Oh my goodness, the ants are trying to attack this orchid as well. It's an easy one to keep clean but certainly very annoying. And today, thankfully, there weren't that many ants because it's cloudy and they're not that interested when they can't smell anything. <laughs> Seems like the happy sap is only something of interest on a sunny day, but aren't these blooms gorgeous? Her fragrance in my blooming alley is very, very predominant. That beautiful, sugary, sweet, lemony fragrance. I mean, I only have four blooms open but it's as if you're standing next to a jar of candy. Lovely, absolutely lovely. I hope that you're doing well, Teresa Tomi and Lilia Moniz and Dorote Had. Thank you to all of you for supporting me here on my channel. Sorry for that jiggle. And I hope that you like my little blooms of my Leodoro sweet memory because they bloom for you. For Yolanda Bugarin, I have two blooms, the third little branch of my Tulumnia pink beige. Here it is, Yolanda, cute, cute little pink blooms. Little I say, but for Tulumnia blooms, they are pretty large. Who are you? What do you want? Get off. There we go. That's taken care of. These are adorable. And this one has now been in bloom quite some time. Of course, it had its first initial flush. It had some blooms on its second branch. This is the third attempt and a quite successful one, if I may say so myself. These cute little pink beauties, Yolanda, are for you. Also, thank you very, very much for being here on my channel, for supporting me with your comments, etc. Really, really know that I do appreciate every single thing that you do for me and my channel. I hope that you like my little Tulumnia blooms, their cute pinkness jumping out onto the screen, just like they are in real life. As I mentioned earlier, I was not going to be filming Blooms For You clips today, but after the Victoria Regina, I'm like, okay, time to pull the orchids so that we can see them with their true colors on a cloudy day. Yolanda Bugarin, thank you very, very much for being here on my channel.
Rashmi Silwal. I know it's only one bloom. This is my Rene Marquez crossed with Rasavola Digbiana. It's only one bloom. And I say that with a lot of pride in my voice because it is one that I could save out of many that tried, but I couldn't get a grip on how many ants enjoyed the spike and took some of the blooms out. So Rashmi Silwal, my profound apologies that I am volunteering this one single bloom to you to say thank you so very much for supporting me on my channel, but know that it comes from the heart and that I tried really, really hard to make sure that this one at least made it. But I am really, really proud of myself because at least I have one that looks awesome, that is presentable, and that it made it. I'm, I tell you, I love these blooms. I have not been successful in growing a René Marquez flamethrower here in my climate. I don't know what it is. I've tried twice. I am just very pleased I have the cross. And it looks very, very similar. And there's something to be said about this bloom with that super, super, this lip, it's not flimsy at all. It's like one of those wax tongues that you can get at the costume stores. If you needed to dress up for some reason, you could just put it into your mouth and it would hang out like a tongue. It's super, super stiff. The petals and sepals, not so much, but the structure of the tongue, it is tough. It really, it, it almost feels fake. Beautiful, no fragrance at all, but I'm, again, so pleased I got one to make it. You can see that the spike has tried previously and failed. This is the second attempt. And I'd ha I had three buds and only one made it. Anyway, Rashmi Silwal, needless to say, thank you so much for being here and supporting my channel. I hope that you like the bloom, like what you see here on camera. And forgive me that I only have one. Imagine two more around this one bloom. And that is the spectacle that I wanted for you. I do apologize, it didn't come to that. I hope that you're doing well also in your part of the world, that everything is okay. Thank you very much. She is gorgeous. I love her. I have not managed to detect much of a fragrance. They should be highly fragrant. But again, it's a cloudy day. She is a first time bloomer. This bloom here is trying to exude a fragrance. It's got a very, very delicate floral heading towards citrusy fragrance. Delicious if it would be a little bit stronger. Maybe it just needs a little bit more time to develop. Maybe as it is a first time bloomer, it won't develop, but we have finally, finally gotten this Vanda to bloom because she is big. She is a big orchid and this is her first ever spike. Very, very pleased and very happy that this can be the one that goes to all of you for your support on my channel. Thank you everybody so very, very much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Have yourselves a wonderful day and please stay safe and take care. Bye.